Hello. Um, I just want to touch base with you. It's uh, December the 12th, and um, it's a chilly morning here in, in Spanish Bay. Uh, I, I just wanted to uh, bring a couple of things to your attention. In the uh, calendar, you'll notice that there are, there are three videos up there in the calendar for you now, uh, as of today. The, the, the two videos are up there are for the song Silent Night, and it's two different versions. There's one version for the, be the beginner students, and there's a version up there for the advanced students you should find something that will be appropriate for you. So I really would like for you to, to learn that. Um, it's good for everybody to know some of the ho some holiday songs anyway, and those songs will really challenge you on how you actually play. And no matter what kind of music you're into, if you learn to play that advanced Silent Night song, you're going to be a better player, no question about it. So, you know, have some patience and learn the um, the Silent Night song, one, one of the two, okay? The other video is up there is for the major scale on the guitar. And I, uh, I want you to learn that one too, because the major scale, being able to play the major scale up and down the neck of the guitar, that's, a, uh, that's the, uh, really the building blocks of what most of the songs that you're playing are built off of. So I would like for you to learn that too. Um, keep in the back of your mind too, um, when you try something like the major scale, or the blues scale, or a pentatonic scale, or something else like that, um, just because you don't understand it doesn't mean that it's not important. Okay, so keep an open mind. I'm not interested in giving you guys material to do just for the sake of giving you something to do. Uh, I'm trying to make you into better guitarists. So if I give you something that I need you to learn, it's probably for a reason. So go through that major scale and learn to play it. Follow Justin Sander Coe's uh, directions on how to place your fingers on the frets. Remember, we want to have our fingers on one fret at a time. Don't go, don't go sliding up and down like this with one finger up and down over the scale. Okay. If you got any questions or problems or concerns, give me a call or send me an email and I'll be around the office for most of the day. Okay, talk to you then. See ya.